Hi, in today's feature, we're going to focus on some of our Scott County, Iowa resources for research in genealogy and local history. This series of books are names that have been abstracted from the newspaper. Um, our volunteers took that on as a project and they indexed the local newspaper for Davenport from 1897 up through the 1960s. So those prove very helpful. You can use them to look for births, marriages, deaths, anniversaries, special events, um, divorces, adoptions, and um, this will take you to the exact page in the newspaper either on microfilm or using one of our online newspaper databases. We also have a lot of biographies of individuals um, both in um, who's who kind of books and also in county histories. We have two county histories that are very popular, the 1910 Downer history and the 1882 history of Scott County. Very um, helpful, uh, a little word of caution about the 1882. Some people call it a brag book because people pay to have their information in there and sometimes they fluffed it up a little bit maybe didn't follow the truth all the time. We have a large collection of cemetery records from not only the uh, city of Davenport, but for out in LeClaire at Glendale and um, out in the county. Um, we have some very early records from city cemetery. There were reports that were turned into the city council by the city sexton and they begin as early as 1857 with some of the burials that took place in City Cemetery. They proved to be very helpful when used in conjunction with the Fritz Kahn Sexton Cemetery books for City Cemetery. They can give you a pretty good picture of your family if you happen to have been an early Davenport resident. Um, these are more indexes that'll take you to items in the newspaper. These are some scrapbooks that um, have been collected that have some great information in them. We have indexes to district court records, which can help you find the court cases, again, on the microfilm. These are indexes that will take you to the court case. Um, we have uh, naturalization records and indexes. Um, again, they will take you to the actual record on the microfilm. And we're gonna move over here. We have uh, another series of the abstracted names from the later years. Um, some more scrapbooks. These are probate indexes. If your ancestor died in Scott County, um, these can be particularly helpful to find out if they owned land, um, who they named as their heirs, if you're missing some siblings and, and you need to get hold of that probate, look at their will. And then again, these indexes take you to the actual documents in the microfilm. More scrapbooks, a um, couple of German publications by August Richter, who had a series of that was published in the newspaper, and he talked about the, the special events um, and early events in Scott County. Um, these are some paper copies of birth, marriage, and death records. Um, again, some of these are indexes, some of them are transcriptions, some of them are photocopies. The more complete records are on microphone. Continue with our Scott County Iowan, that is the quarterly publication from the Scott County Iowa Genealogical Society. And they have a great index here that will take you to um, anything in their publications, which began in 1977. This another really helpful resource is the History of Davenport by Wilkie that was published in 1858. So um, oftentimes, depending on when your ancestor lived in Scott County, will direct you more to this book rather than the 1882 County History. And just for a nice coffee table type book, if you're just wanting a general history of Davenport with some nice features, um, 
This one by Marla Svensson is really good. It's called A Davenport Pictorial History. And um, a lot of times people use this as a jumping off point when they're looking for some information on a specific building or business. That's going to wrap it up for us today at the Richardson Sloan Special Collections Center. We're looking forward to when you can come and visit us in person. Get your notes together. See you later.